had this bathroom door that doesn't always close the right way. It requires quite a bit of force and sometimes it just flies right back open whenever I'm inside the restroom using it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install one of my door striker spacers. Now we have three different sizes available. So the tools you will need is a measuring tape and a screwdriver. Now the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to go ahead and remove the existing door striker spacer to measure the gap between the door frame and the actual door itself. So now that we have the door closed, we want to go ahead and measure where the cutout, for, if there is a cutout, you want to measure from there, or if there isn't, you'll just want to measure to the frame. Now it looks like we have about three eighths, give or take. And then what we want to do is we want to subtract that number by an eighth. So we we'll want to do a quarter. I'm just going to do a little drive it. It'll fit just fine. It'll be perfect for what we need to do. Now you do have two options here. If your measurement is a little bit bigger by about a 16th inch or so, you can put your striker plate back on. I'm not going to do that because I came up a little short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the, just to put the plate on bare. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now, another thing is, is if the screws are really loose, when you go to attach the door striker plate, you'll want to go ahead and get longer screws for it. You want to make sure the screw that you're replacing it with is the same width or the same thickness the same type of screw, just a little bit longer. And if you're doing an exterior door, I would highly recommend going up to a two or three inch screw so you're make, so that the screws go all the way into the actual framing of the door. So now we have that attached, just, the two, just using the two existing screws or longer ones, we can go ahead and test the door's fit and see how it can perform now. Okay, so it's a much more confident grip. As you can see, there is no, the gap is, is really small, which is how we want it. We don't want it to be too wide of a gap because that'll mean, that'll give it more potential for it to fly back open or to be just open completely depending on your situation. And that is how you install one of our door striker spacers. The uh, link for this will either be in the video description or it will be in the bio depending on where you're watching it. Have a good day.